the storyteller. I actually kind of prefer to put it for me because I don't think of myself as a journalist or as a historian or as a sociologist or philosopher or anything else, just a storyteller. And um, so I have to kind of narrow it a little bit. Um, and, you know, and I, I think for today, in this time, as in all times, uh, going back to the caves of Lascaux, to the beginnings of our species, really, um, there's always been somebody in the uh, tribe um, or the clan or the community um, who sat in the corner and told stories. Um, and if they were good enough, you got to uh, sit by the fire and, uh, and you got a, maybe a piece of, uh, of steak off the elk that was just killed. And, and, and what made the stories good enough to allow the community, the tribe, to, to let you sit by the fire and, and uh, have a piece of meat with the rest um, just for telling stories. Well, the stories had to be of great interest to the others in the tribe, and they had to be meaningful to them, to the others in the tribe. And they had to tell the other people in the tribe what it was to be themselves, to be human, um, because we don't know what it is to be human. We, we need to find out over and over again what it is to be ourselves, the best and the worst of us. Um, and, and I think that's what the storyteller does, uh, then and now, and must do even into the future as the future becomes more inclined to hide from us what it is to be human. I mean, we are in a crisis of humanistic values right now, and, um, and, and, and we're facing that, and it is the storyteller who will tell us once again what it is to be human.